Hey, this is Andre from the Information Lab. I had a really interesting question on our Information Lab uh, support desk um, a while ago about how to change a field label for a discrete value. Um, in this video I will demonstrate how I um, tackled that uh, question. But let me first of all demonstrate the issue. So let's build out um, sa uh, sales by week um, number. So if we drag order date onto rows change it to a week number. You can see week one all the way down to week 53. So if we then put sales onto text, um, we can see the sales, we could actually build a bar chart. Um, however, the client wanted to change um, the number. So week one till week 53, for example, needed to be WK, as you can see in our example here. However, when you try to format it in Tableau, and you go to Format, you can either do it here, change to numeric, or numeric with leading zeros, so you can see it doesn't change. The same if you go to Pane, it doesn't change. So, how can we um, change this from week 3 to read to, for example, WK3? Um, the first thing I did um, was I had to parse out the, the number. So I needed to create a calculated field. In this case, we call this a week a label two because I already created one, um, as you can see here. Um, and we needed to parse out the number, so we can do that with a quick uh, regex. So if we extract, and we need to uh, extract from our field up here. So we can drag this in the view, and we'll create a date part on week. Then we need to write our regex. In order to get um, all the digits, we need to use the backward slash D and the plus sign. The plus sign means um, we want a single or more digits. So when we go to week 10, it will actually return our, our 10. And um, then we need to close off the group. Um, as you can see, we'll get an error message saying it's called with an integer string. We meant string string. So we actually need to change our date part into a string. So if we do that and wrap it, you can see the calculation is now valid. Hit apply. Um, then we get week label 2 up here. Let's drag that into the view. As you can see it parsed out the weeks. Um, however, I changed uh, something in the video. Um, so let's put this back. Um, default properties A fiscal year needs to start in January. So now you can see the week of order date is 1 and the week label is 1. That's what we want. Um, but in order to make it WK, we need to append a string to it. So if we type out, uh, we need a WK, plus um, we need a couple of spaces. So if we use the space function, we need 2 plus this. Now you can see uh, our week label 2. If we hit apply, um, then we actually get the correct week. Cool. So now if we hide this one, show header, uh, we can flip it around. You can see we all have what we want, week 1 to week, week till 53. However, the next step, uh, or the next question from the client was, um, but our fiscal years, they don't start in, um, in January, they start in May. So I was like, okay, we can change that. So if we went to order date, change our default properties, our fiscal year start, we did that for May, and we turn back this one, show header. You can see it doesn't align correctly. It's still parsing it out, but week 1 in this case is the first week of May, but in our calculation it's week 18. Uh, what we had to do here is basically create a, um, a custom date part. So if we go to order date, which has now been changed to starting at May, create, and we can create a custom date. And if we change that to week numbers, and we do a date part, and we call this um, order date by week, for example, hit OK. Uh, now you can see we have order date by week here. If we drag that into the view, you can see it is the same as that one. OK, cool. So let's use that in our calculation. So if we go to week level 2, edit the calculation, we have now this order date by week. 
So if we drag that into the view, you can see it's one field, which means we can get rid of our string. Let's remove that and type in order date by week. Remove this bit and now we can see we have an error message. We're missing an operator somewhere. Um, let's see which one we miss. So we don't actually need that. And we need that one. Oh, it's still asking us for the uh, string. Sorry. Let's add that back in. And there we go. So if we now hit apply, you can see it now changes to week one, week one. So this means that it follows our um, custom date in May. Um, I hope this is useful. Um, it, for me, it's useful because if you design for uh, mobile, for example, and you're very constrained on space, um, you can use this abbreviation of week. And the same um, goes for other date parts. Uh, thanks for watching this video.